This is AM Agenda with me now, the Assistant Treasurer Josh Frydenberg. Uh, Mr Frydenberg, thanks for your time. I want to ask you first of all about Chris Bowen's comments yesterday that the government has had an inconsistent story on your rhetoric around the issue of debt, uh, the debt crisis, budget crisis and so on. And then I guess in the context of the, the uh, statements made this morning on the pension by the Social Services Minister, uh, is your message on track yet on this, on this front or are there still inconsistencies from the government at the senior level? Well, Chris Bowen's got his head in the sand because we've been consistently saying that the debt situation in Australia is a big problem and we have put measures forward to try to deal with that. It's Labor that are blocking more than $30 billion worth of savings in the Senate, including up to recently $5 billion worth of savings that they took to the last election are refusing to support. What I thought was really interesting, Kieran, in uh, Chris Bowen's interview yesterday, is he said that the talk about the debt was just rhetoric, that there wasn't an urgent need to pay back the deficit. Well, that's contrary to the Parliamentary Budget Office, to the words of the IMF, to the words of the Commission of Audit, and of course, just on Friday, the words of the uh, Reserve Bank uh, head, uh, because what uh, Glenn Stevens was saying was that Australia is on the wrong trajectory and that if there is another financial crisis, we'll need the flexibility in our balance sheet to actually spend through the cycle. And if you've got a heavy debt burden, your ability to do that is very limited. And he said that debt could go very quickly from just 2 to 3 per cent or your deficit, two to three percent of GDP to five to six percent of GDP. But that's to, what Chris Bowen, Bowen is failing to deal with. Isn't, isn't he saying, rather than it's just rhetoric, he's saying it's inconsistent rhetoric from the government? That was the point. That you, you're, no, spe it's not. you're spending on one hand, the Prime Minister's saying it's going to be a fair budget this time, uh, and I giving every indication that this is not going to be the sort of. Uh, the sort of tight, fiscally uh, restrained budget that many economists believe that, uh, that needs to be the case? Well, actually, as a result of our measures, the budget and the debt situation will be $170 billion better off within the decade than it would have been under Labor. We've gone from inheriting you know, uh, spending growth at 3.7% down to growth in spending at 1%. Uh, we are now in a situation, having inherited from Labor, that we're spending $100 million a day more than we're taking in revenue. That's what the Labor Party left us, and we're trying to fix their mess. But, you know, the message from the Reserve Bank and others is very, very clear. This is a problem. Now, Chris Bowen in that interview also referred to Australia's situation, comparing it to Germany or to, to France and to Canada mm. and to other nations. What he fails to understand here, Kieran, is that Australia is very vulnerable to changes in the terms of trade. We just saw in the mid-year economic and fiscal outlook okay. Australia downgrade its terms of trade by the highest amount uh, in, since, uh, you know, since an, a number of years. But also, what he's yep. failing to understand is that when we inherited um, the books from them, they had put us on a trajectory of $667 billion okay. worth of debt. Josh Frydenberg, my apologies. We're out of time. A very brief uh, chat this morning. Uh, I appreciate your time this morning. Thanks very much for that. A quick Thanks. break on AIM Agenda. Back in just a moment.